Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video on today's car video. I don't even know what to call this segment anymore, but I think I'm gonna do car videos every second Tuesday of the week. Um, I did install some callovers in it, but you guys haven't seen that as of yet because I deleted all the footage by accident. Good on me. But anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to go ham on that subscribe button, like button, comment anything you guys want to know about my 180SX right here. As you guys can see, the car is now at the warehouse. On today's video, what I'm going to do is a very simple install. I, I don't know if it's simple, to be honest. I probably just lied to you guys, but I don't, I haven't seen this on, online. I, haven't, I tried to check YouTube, I tried to check Facebook, I tried to check Google, I tried to check Yahoo, who the hell even uses Yahoo anymore. But I'm going to be installing OEM weather shields for the Type X. If you guys know, I'm trying to sort after a whole bunch of rare standard parts. And it makes no sense to some of you guys, but rare standard parts are something really rare to go by. Come. That obviously, you, you guys understand. Because standard parts for this car is hard. Like the standard optional parts are hard to get. And you pay top dollar for it. Let me show you guys what I got today. As you guys can see right here, it's a very, very big box, long as well. I got this from Tarx, as you guys can see. Tarx is a OEM uh, Nissan supplier. He stocks really rare stuff at very, very non-affordable prices sometimes. I'm never gonna lie. I paid like $400 for these weather shields. I've got weather shields on the car right now. So pretty much what weather shields are, if you guys don't have weather shields on your car, it just allows on like rainy days and if it's hot, hot rainy days which makes no sense you're allowed to wind down the window just enough so some air can go through if you're on the track you can let the window down just enough so no debris or anything goes like that and if you smoke or whatever you can have a cigarette whilst in, in the rain but like if, I don't, like if you stick it yeah i don't know if you stick it out it'll probably hit the weather shield to be honest but I don't know, but that, that's what people have told me. But anyway, let's quickly go install this. I'll show you guys what they currently look like and what they're going to look like. It's not going to be an informative video. I'm going to try as hard as I can to make it informative, but I ain't no fucking um, certified mechanic, so I'm just going to do whatever the hell it takes to put these on. As you guys can see right here, this is the aftermarket weather shield that I'm talking about here. And this is really stupid because, look, if I open my door, look, the window literally goes here. Like, there's no point of this. This is literally just all for looks and it does nothing. But I do have a matching um, roof wing for it, but I'm gonna change this sooner or later as well. But this thing right here is so useless. I feel like I can just peel it off. Definitely can. Definitely just coming straight off. Okay. I'm gonna take this off and I'm gonna give you guys, look, this is the look right now, if you guys can see. I like it because it's black and I'm hoping that, where, I don't know where I put the box, but I'm hoping that the new ones I have is this black color as well. Let me see if, yeah, you know, just coming straight off. Just literally coming straight off. But, mate, one-handed, one-handed, like straight up. Good old double-sided tap. Now, I really feel like I'm gonna break it because I I'm actually gonna give this to one of my mates and then what I want to do is go back take off all this excess 3m tape yeah this is a quick oh this is a bad idea this is a very bad idea usually this should not be this easy to take off but obviously they use really crappy double-sided tape oh I really thought I was gonna hit myself in the face. But, done, out. Double-sided tape, still stuck on, perfect. Not gonna reuse that. Let's move to the other side. I was gonna buy a caramel wheel. A caramel wheel is this thing that takes off all residue, because I know this is gonna be a pain in the butt to take off. Mm, I actually don't mind it without it. I kinda like it without it. Oh. Oh, fuck! Fuck! Well, now I'm just gonna tell my mate, hey, sorry, bruv, I, I snapped it. I snapped it, sorry. If you're watching this YouTube so, uh, uh, video, and um, yeah, I'm not gonna lie to you, man. I snapped it. <laughs> but 
But that was, oh man, why was this piece so easy to take off? Some plastic weld won't will do the job. You guys can see here all the residue that it left. Some of it, some of it. I'm gonna wipe it down. Try to take off as much as this as possible without using a heat gun. But this might take me forever. Meh, side, side. This is probably the most stupidest way to do it, but it worked. All the leftover uh, 3M tape or double-sided tape or whatever you guys want to call it, it's all gone. But you guys can still see it's kind of really lefting, leaving, oh my god, I can't talk, leaving residue. What you usually need to use is like a wax and grease remover or some sort of wipe. But I don't have that. I do have an alternative though. I'm going to use my sneaker cleaner. Luckily, I own a sneaking cleaning company, so I have towels on deck ready to go. This is probably not the smartest way to do it, but I don't have anything else at the warehouse. So what I'll do is just quickly, like that. Oh my God, it was the smartest thing to do. It's working so well. It actually worked better than I thought. I really thought it was, wasn't gonna work. But what I'm gonna do is we have an alcohol sort of wipe. It's a sneaker wipe. I'm gonna wipe it down and that's pretty much it. Unbox the box, see the hell the hell I'm gonna install this. I should have unboxed the box first so I knew what I was doing. But time to unbox it and um, let's hope I know what to do. Oh, oh, nearly stabbed myself. There's a box inside a box. Lucky I found these because this is all the mounting hardware I need. There's instructions, yay, and they're in Japanese. Great. Luckily, I don't speak Japanese. Uh, okay, I have no idea what I'm doing. Like these photos don't make any sense either. I like, I kind of understand it. This door handle looks like a lip. Look, it looks like a cartoon lip. Hey babe, can you read Japanese for me please? This is supposed to be easy. Definitely not easy. I'm trying to slightly understand it. I assume this means 65 mils from here to here, and then 70 mils from here to here, there's another clip. But then, so there should be three mounting points, one, two, and three, right? So number three is 70 mils away, number one is 65 mils away, and then the other one is 470, but... Where are these mounting points? Like, where do I mount it to? I'm just gonna assume there's mounting points underneath this. Oh yeah, there is. Look, there's screws here. That's convenient. Right, so there's one all the way down there. And there's one here. This, oh, what was that? I've laid out all the mounting pieces and I've noticed they all have lettering on it. CC, BB. So I assume all these go together on like these mount together somehow. And then, yeah. Look how cute my little 180 on my key ring is. But, um, yeah, let's, let's go back to the instructions. The smartest way I've noticed to do this is put all the clips in first, then take this uh, 3M tape off. So these clips go in somehow. Fuck. Yep. As you guys can see here, I've literally pulled out the 3M tape already. So it's just nice and easy for me to actually stick it down and it makes life easier. So you guys can see it, just push it down like that. i rip it. Done. 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 It is literally all done and I hate to say this, it's pretty much the same shit. I feel like I just wasted my time changing this. But the only difference is now this is not held on by just double-sided tape. It's held on by proper clips. And it has this nice purple tinge to it. But I think I honestly still prefer the black. But at least this is OEM. That's the end of the video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to go ham on that thumbs up button. Hit that bell button because it notifies you every single time we release brand new videos. Um, car videos will come out every second Tuesday. We're still waiting for Philly's uh, Cooking with Philly. I'm sure that's going to come out sometime soon. We release brand new videos on Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. So, speak to you guys then. Peace.